collecting presents because uh, Raptor Claws just came by. And look at that. So there's an Alpha Raptor right there, right? And there's another one right there. And there's a third one right there. I've never seen this. Three Alpha Raptors all in the, in the, the same small area. I have never seen that. That is crazy. What's up, guys? I'm BTC. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm here on the Pooping Evolved server. Today, we got two perfect tames for you, a Dota Curus and one of the Elks. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more Ark content. Let's get to it. Okay, I really hadn't planned on taming one of these things because I already have one, and it does a pretty good job. Uh, by the way, these guys right here are the... Uh, they're the best in the game for collecting thatch. If you increase the melee damage of one of these up to like, you know, 1,000, 1,500 or something like that, you can collect thousands and thousands of thatch. Uh, no, 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 you gotta stay in here. You can collect thousands and thousands of thatch like super, super quick, like really, really quick. And you don't really have to worry about buffing the weight on this thing because that's just like really, really light. So it makes it pretty simple. So anyways, we're gonna go and tame it up. And I also discovered a bug with the industrial cooker and I'll show you that in just a second. So I am gonna actually have to tear this thing down in order to snap it to the irrigation lines, which is kind of a pain. That's like a lot of metal. I really don't wanna do that. Uh, so what I did was I tried to kind of like, um, kind of like kind of trick the game into thinking it was irrigated. So inside, like in here, right here is one of those things, like one of those, the little uh, water thingies. Uh, there's actually one right inside here. It's connected to the bottom of this pipe. And then I put another one up there and I was hoping that it would maybe possibly act like one of the farming stations, but it doesn't because it's not irrigated, but... I discovered a bug that I will show you right now. So we're going to take uh, some Dimorphodon eggs and I need, I believe it's, um, I believe it's regular meat and long grass. And we're going to throw these in here. And that should be it. Now here's how the, the glitch works, okay? So all of these are empty, all right? Look at all the, actually, you know what? I'm going to take all of these out just to prove the glitch. Okay, ready? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So we're gonna take all of that out. I got the materials, I got, um, we got uh, five of that, five of that, five of that. And we also have the fiber. Oh, I need mejo berries, hold on. We need some mejo berries. Uh, let me grab a bunch of these. So mejo berries, and we're gonna throw this in here. And we've got all the materials except for the water. So watch this, this is the bug. Um, if you fill one water skin, okay, just put one water skin, for whatever reason, the game, if you put this in here, the game treats it as if it's an unlimited supply of water. So when I turn this on, it's going to use this one water skin to build, to make all of the kibble. Oh, come on, the long grass just, just decayed. Man, the long grass doesn't last very long. Hold on, let me grab some more. All right, ready? Here we go. So here we go. Watch the water. Bam. 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 There you go. So look at that. If you, um, if you made your industrial cooker here, okay? and you don't want to tear it down and move it, all you have to do is get one water skin, fill it, and then you can put it in here and you can make all of the dyes, all of the kibble, all of the stuff you want. Uh, I actually haven't tried it with dyes, but I'm assuming that it would probably work as well. And if you look, the water, it still says zero of 1,000. So it looks like it, um, it just like, it tricks it into thinking that it's full. So, whatever, it works, right? This is gonna hurt you uh, a lot more than it hurts me, but that's okay.
Now, I don't have to worry about this guy, because it obviously doesn't attack. It is going to run around quite a bit. <laughs> it runs right over here. No, that's not going to help you, buddy. All right, so five, four, three, two. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's try to shoot it in the head. And it's down. All right. Let's put the kibble on it. And this is more kibble than it needs, but whatever. I don't care. It won't eat it all. All right, so we're going to have to just wait a little bit for that. Okay, I got two things to tame. One of them is just because it looks really, really cool. And that is this thing right here. It is... It's the Shelly right here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that Shelly. That thing looks sweet. It's like black and white, and it's got those evil red eyes. It's like Darth Shelly. So that thing just looks cool, so I'm going to tame it out. And I also got this. Look at it! A 120 Doty. It's black and white. Well, dark gray and white. Whatever. It's good enough. That is awesome, man. I've spent so long trying to find a 120 Doty, and I finally, finally found one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, the Quetzal to hopefully grab the Doty. And there we go. We got it. We're going to go and we're going to drop it into the fancy taming bin down here. If I can get the... Oh, God. No, nope. no, we got we to gotta come in. We got to come in at a different angle here. All right. And... Boop. It's in. Okay. Now, I've got my Trank Gun now instead of the... Well, I have the bow, but I'm going to use the Trank Gun instead. Because I've been told that Dodies are a super pain to actually tame out. Because what happens is when you do a little bit of damage to them, they roll into that ball and they just you can't do damage to them so you have to wait till they get out of it and they get to shoot him again and it's just it's a super pain so i'm gonna try to limit that by using the rifle and the darts and hopefully i think i shot it in like the shell nope i shot it in the foot okay oh <laughs> all right uh, well, that sent me flying. It didn't do much damage, but it definitely sent me flying. Is he doing... Yeah, see? Okay, so he can't he can't actually damage stone walls. That doesn't really make any sense. Because you use doties to destroy giant... Like, you use the doties to destroy the boulders and get stone. So the fact that it can't... Like, why can't it not destroy this? Is it because of, like, the mortar? Because of, like, the, the cement or something? I don't know. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. This take forever. I think it's gonna. Oh man, it's getting it's getting a little bit bloody. I'm not too worried about it because they do get. Oh, there it goes. Finally. Oh my God. How many darts did that take? That took like what? Twenty something darts? Twenty or more darts? Oh man. Oh, it's only it's only at like 55% health, so it's got a decent amount. All right, uh, I'm going to go grab the kibble because I already made it up. And I'm also going to bring Darth Shelly down here, and we're going to tame that too. It's kind of funny how it snows inside my house. Like, it snows inside the house. And that's because I don't have the housing buff here. And if you don't actually have the housing buff then the game is like, oh, you must be outside. So we're going to show you the rain or we're going to show you the snow. So watch what happens like if I just step off to the side. Just ever, There you go. <laughs> so the snow disappears. And now it's back. <laughs> kind of stupid. But <laughs> you can tell there's like little places inside the house that don't get the housing buff. And it causes it to snow. It's funny because like you can't see the snow. Like, there's snow right there, but you have to actually, like, walk over to it in order to... Wait, I gotta lose the housing buff. Where is it? Alright, we just lost the housing buff. 
Okay, so there, there it is right there. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Nobody else is online. So the presents are all mine. Mine! Mine! <laughs> uh, where did this one go? It's somewhere in the trees here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, hello. 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 Presents. Presents. Is that it right there? Yeah, there it is. Right there. All right, what's the next one? Oh, oh, there's an alpha raptor. Okay. All right, well, it it's... Oh, 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 okay. Oof. Okay, we had a little bit of, a little bit of lag there. Um, oh, come on. Get, a, get away. Get away. Get away. I gotta get the present. Get away. That's, uh, that's Rudolph. He's, that, that's Rudolph right there. He's, he's guarding the present. <laughs> Um, come on, man. You gotta, let me get the present. Let me get the present. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. All right. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Um, let's, uh, let's try to lure it away. Let's try to lure it away. Come here. Come here, raptor. There you go. Good, 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 good. All right, you stay there. Stay there. And then we're gonna be quick about this. Okay, ready? Quick, 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 quick. Nope, it's coming back. It's coming back. All right. Um, darn it. Uh, I don't think I can actually kill this raptor with the Quetzal in time. Get away! Get away! It's my present. It's my present. Oh man. All right. You know what? Let's let's try to kill it. What level, what level is it? Hold on, let's see what level it is. Oh my god, is that like a level 100? There's no way I'm gonna kill it. Hold on. Alright, let's 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 come over here and land. Let's try this one more again. See if we can be quick. Okay, there's there's the raptor. Alright, let's, let's lure him a little further over, away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Alright, awesome. Okay, now we gotta be really, really quick about this. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the scenic route or the the, uh, the sneaky route. Right, where's that present? Where's that present? There it is. Let me do this quick. Let me do this real quick, real quick. Oh, I just I just picked it up. Oh, now I got a cat attacking me. Oh, come on, kitty. No, my present. Oh, you jerks. You jerks. You ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined Christmas. So I came back with the RG in order to uh, deal with that alpha that was stopping me from getting the presents. And look what it dropped. We got a bunch of cool stuff. So I got journeyman cloth hat, a ramshackle crossbow, which is kind of garbage. We're just going to drop that. And we also got journeyman crossbow. Pretty good. We got a journeyman bow. Not bad. And then we got... BAM! Mastercraft Bow. 197. Not too shabby. That's pretty good. That's pretty... I mean, it's a bow, so we're still probably better off using the crossbow and stuff, but that's pretty cool. We got a Mastercraft. I'll take it. Alright, so I did all my taming for the day. I really like this turtle's color scheme like the black the gray and the white it just looks really cool and then like the red eyes so i decided to put a saddle on it and i gave it like a, a red and a black kind of motif like look at this that looks really cool and of course if it's gonna look like that we got to give it a, an appropriate name so it's darth shelly Shelly may not be conquering the Jedi anytime soon, but definitely makes my makes my base look a lot cooler. <laughs> Let me go up top. Uh, I'm keeping all the name tags off, by the way, because of this. <laughs> so you can actually once I move all the once I move all of the dinos out of here, it'll be a little bit easier because then you can see stuff. Uh, I did also tame a couple of other RGs that. Uh, they're really low level, but they look cool. Like, this one is all black. Like, it's all black. It's got, like, 
slightly, it looks like it's slightly, slightly, like, lighter gray on the head there, but, uh, I think that's just because of, like, the way the, the shiny effects in this game is. Like, it's actually black, but it's, like, shiny, so it kind of looks, like, the light over here is kind of giving it away. It does have, like, a little, little bit of gray over here on the back, but, like, otherwise it's, it's all black. So that thing looks really cool. And then... This, oh, if I can get, there we go. And then this one is basically the same thing, except it's got uh, the white on the top. So it's kind of got, it has like the the white paint job that I used to put on my dinos. But it's automatically got it, like it already has it. And it does have like a little bit of, a little bit of brown back here, I think. Or like a dark gray, but otherwise it looks pretty cool. So I was thinking of just like using them to to breed a bird later on like I don't want the stats from these I just want the color so I might try to might try to work with that and then over here I've got the Dodacurus that you saw and this thing has amazing stats melee damage on this has been increased by like something like 85 points or something like that it's like crazy crazy good melee damage I don't think I've ever seen a tamed dino that had stats as good as that uh, like when um, when you post tame it like it already has like 80 something points in one stat and that's for the melee damage so the weight is pretty low so what I need to do is I need to find a doty with high weight breed them together and if I can get a high weight and this melee damage man that doty would be just like amazing like really really super good so this is an unbelievably good, perfect tame doty. Like, the the melee damage is just so high on this. Uh, and then, this was the, the John Cena moose that I was using, like, a while ago. And it's got, you know, lots of uh, stats. I actually looked on this, and let me see here. Is it, I think it's this one right here. So, yeah, these, uh, these are the John Cena stats right here. They're okay. They're actually not that good. Um, and then, this one right here is the male which is um this one right here so this one so these stats are pretty good like they're not amazing or anything but they're they're solid however this female which isn't a perfect team it was like a 112 or something this female actually has higher melee damage than the other two so if i breed this one and this one then i could actually probably get a, a pretty a pretty good moose out of it i mean really it doesn't matter like this one this one does super super good anyways because like i collected something like six thousand thatch in like 10 minutes using this so it's it's pretty okay the way it is but anyways we might have some might have some more breeding coming up we're gonna breed that doty and maybe we'll breed these as well and still gotta work on the the wolves and stuff otherwise it's coming along it's coming along pretty good hold on let me get down here Right, Shelly? Right. Together, we shall rule the empire. Rule the galaxy. Right? Okay, anyways. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more content. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.